Apparently, the greeting given when meeting someone for the first time implicitly contains what that person considers important these days. There are people who start by saying, did you eat? And there are also people who worry about the person's commute asking, was everything okay on the way here? You didn't have any trouble, right? Also, some people try to understand the person's condition or state of mind by asking, how are you feeling these days? Did you sleep well? We ask what we consider important and a priority. So, besties, did you eat? Are you holding on okay? How are you feeling? I want to make sure you're doing well. So let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with Shizo's 사랑이 아닌 단어로 사랑을 말해요. Say love in words, not love. 사랑이 아닌 단어로 사랑을 말해주세요 그 눈빛에 다 보이게 날 표현해줘요 우리만 아는 남허로 또 가장 깊은 곳으로 사랑이 아닌 단어로 사랑을 말해주세요 Come on in, besties. Yeah. Welcome back to Radio Clock, besties. It is April 16th, and thanks for joining me. 
Uh, going back to the opening, the opening did say that you ask what you consider a priority, but I think it's a little different for me. Me and my friends, I think I ask questions uh, regarding things I know they're struggling with. For like, so like for example, Joan, my friend Joan, she always has trouble sleeping. She can't sleep for more than like four hours. So when I see her, I'll always ask like, "How did you sleep last night? Like, how many hours did you get?" And Subini, she gets indigested easily. She gets sick. She gets a lot of stomach ache when she's stressed. So I'll ask about that. With Iris, it'll be more like, so how many hours of sleep did you get yesterday? Like, how long did you sleep yesterday? Just surprise me, because every week she surprises me. Uh, but how about you guys? How do you guys ask? What are your go-to greetings? Or is there like something that you hear that make you go, oh my God, this person really cares about me? Let us know. Um, let me read today's message, which is from Ryan. Ryan says, good afternoon, DJ Ashley. How are you today? Feeling good. It's so warm and nice. I'm so happy. You guys know I'm a summer girl. So whenever the weather gets warm and the sun stays up later, I'm just like so jolly. Like you could do whatever to me. I'll accept it. I'll just be like, okay, that's fine. I forgive you. Um, Ryan says, are you in a good mood? Um, I'm feeling normal. I'm doing household chores and cooking dinner like spaghetti, stir fry cabbage with oyster sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. I have a question. What is your specialty when you cook? And if one of the besties who's inviting your home for dinner, what dish do you want to cook? Wait, if a bestie invites me for dinner, what dish would I want? Or if one... Okay, well, my specialty, you guys know that I haven't cooked for a long time but anything with eggs I'm like a pro like I'm an excellent egg cook uh, scrambled omelet fried over easy sunny side up the only thing I haven't mastered is um, what is that thing oh suran what is suran in English when you um, you know What's suran? Suran. Poached eggs. Okay, yes. The only thing, I, the only kind of eggs I haven't been able to master is poached eggs because I never tried it. But I feel like if I try it, I'll be pretty good. Eggs, I'm confident. Um, if besties invite me, I would be honored. I would just eat anything. You could just, just offer me bread and butter. I'd be happy with that. Um, Ryan says, my song request is When Love Passes By. 사랑이 지나가면 by IU. That's all for today. Thank you, DJ Ashley, and love you. Love you, too. Uh, we have Jay Chang and Tavi joining us for um, our segment very, very soon. And today, it's going to be Jay Chang singing live for us, which you don't want to miss out on. So stick around. This is IU's 사랑이 지나가면 When Love Passes By.
Radio Clock airs both on TV and radio at 3 p.m. KST every day. To listen to our show, download the Arirang Radio application from the App Store. If you're in the Jeju area, tune in to 88.7 in Jeju City, 88.1 in Sogipo City, 101.9 in the Daejeon area. Or you can join our YouTube live stream on Arirang Radio K-pop channel. Missed out on our live show? Don't worry, you can watch or listen to the rerun on TV and radio. Rewatch the fun moments on TV at 2 a.m. KST from Tuesdays to Saturdays and at 3 p.m. KST on Saturdays and Sundays. You can also enjoy the radio rerun at 6 a.m. KST every day. Don't forget, there are also exclusive episodes at 3 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays only on radio. About an artist. How far have you gone to explore them? How many B side tracks have you listened to? We'll delve into everything right here on Beyond, Beyond the, the Hits. Hits. This is our second week of Beyond the Hits, and despite it being the first time meeting for our guests last week, it was not awkward. It was very smooth. The yeah. show went really well. Oh, yeah. We have singer songwriter Tabid and Jay Chang in the studio. Welcome! Woo! Woo! All right. Since it's only the second time, I still want you to say hello to our listeners individually. So let's go, Jay. Okay. Hello, I am soloist, one packed member, and member of BDU, Jay Chang. Nice to meet you. Ooh, Ooh. hello. Hi, I'm singer songwriter, Tabit. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all kind of matching today, too. Like, t- Tabit's in black, Jay Chang's in denim, and I'm like half black denim, denim, half black. This always happens. It's getting so tricky to dress appropriately nowadays because. It's going back and forth from being cool to like super hot. Mm, the temperature oh, difference right. is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's been insane. Like I, I just want some more time to wear like light outers. Uh huh. But then I'll be walking outside during you know the day and I'll start sweating all of a sudden. You right. just gotta carry it like in your bag or in your car and then at night take it out. But during the day, I mean, people been, people are walking around in like a tank top and a shirt, t-shirt during Mm -hmm. the day. But like April? That's what I'm saying. Like April always like that? I don't think so. There's times like where like, for example, yesterday I would have been like, oh man, it's really cold today. I should wear an outer today. And then I would walk out and then it would be hot. And I was like, okay, well now it's hot today. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. I know. I feel like in May it would have been understandable, but April. I feel like it snowed in April before too. It's possible. Right? Yeah, I think so. It might have happened. Yeah. But anyways, I mean, I'm grateful for the warm weather. Oh, but it's going gonna, gonna to start getting a little cold again. Oh, okay. Like okay. starting okay. tomorrow. Good, but good, good. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, all right. How was last week doing the corner for the first time? I didn't really get, get to ask you after, like, at the end of the show because we ran out of time. But right, right. You guys had fun? Uh, I had a lot of fun. I think that... I personally just love listening to B-sides a little bit more than the title tracks a lot of the time. So being able to showcase them on a corner like this is actually a lot of fun. Mm. Yeah. And I think it shows a lot more of what the artist is into because, I mean, if we're being honest, a lot of artists cater towards a mainstream audience. So a lot of the title tracks tend to be a little bit more mainstream if you will yeah. and maybe potentially a little bit more safe mm-hmm. whereas the other b-side tracks tend to be maybe a little bit more towards what they really want to release artistically mm-hmm. as an yeah. artist Personal. so we can know them a little better through their b-side tracks yeah. and toby really loved the segment he kept saying after the show like i think this is my favorite show i've ever done on video <laughs> yeah. which i was so relieved to hear i was happy so that's great i love to say uh, my two times being here this has also got to be my favorite one really the two, two quarters did you guys notice we have some like fancy lamps in the back too oh is it oh you know, that's what I've been doing for my home. If you want to make your home look expensive, buy a bunch of lamps and just Fancy put lamps. them everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't use those overhead lamps anymore. No. Yeah, the no white more. lighting, ew. Mm-hmm. Hospital. No, hospital throw vibes. Throw it away. <laughs> Get Emergency away. room vibes. <laughs> uh-huh. 
<laughs> yes, but since you guys will be performing every week, we wanted to make the vibe a little uh -huh. more upgraded by adding mm. some, you know, moody lamps in the back. So well, it's moody not lamp. me today. So <laughs> yeah, but it'll still be there for you next week, Cubby. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, since we pick one artist to uh -huh. dive into every week, is there an artist that you guys got into recently? It may be like a new artist or someone from way back that you just discovered. Uh, it's funny because I recently got into this idol group that has been around for quite a while and I've always knew of them and I listened to their tracks, but I just recently started getting into their music Ooh. a little bit more. So I've been listening to TXT. Oh, oh my God. Are you just jumping on that bandwagon I, I, right no, now? No, just now. Just now. And I've been just diving into their stuff. And it's funny because one of my favorite songs is this, like their B-side track. You know, mm. the stuff they released recently? Mm -hmm. uh, I think Deja Vu is like the title. But mm -hmm. then uh, they have another one. Da, na, 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 na. Is that the house beat? Meet you there tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the I song. I love that song so much. I wrote so that song much. in last Friday because I was like, this is so good. It's oh. so good. And if you see them dancing to it, Mm -hmm. Like they're just so effortlessly good at dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I, I don't know. It just, it just, I don't know what it is about their songs, but it, they just have everything so well rounded together. And yeah, I just love, I, I love their songs. Their mm -hmm. songs have always been good. Yeah. Um. How about you, how about Jay? You? Oh, um. Me recently, I've been getting into this. It's their duo singer songwriter duo called uh -huh. Happy Paula. Happy Paula? Hoppy Hoppy Paula. A Hoppy Paula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Not me saying, I said Happy Paula. <laughs> <laughs> Hoppy Paula, yes. Pola. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. did you discover them? Um, I heard one of my young sing a cover mm -hmm. of Kugo Myon Deo is one of their songs um, on stage on the show that I was ah. on. And, um, I was like, wait, this song is actually kind of fire. So I kind of deep dived into them and their discography is actually incredible so mm. oh wow i'll have to check them out i, I yeah very I easy listening they mm -hmm. yeah they were on a band program as well right like mm -hmm. a super so. super band yeah yeah yeah, so yeah. They're like rock genre wise or like alter like alternative, alternative? acoustic indie. alternative acoustic indie, indie. Yes. okay oh yeah. okay i like yeah. that yeah. All right. I feel like that um, through that show that you were on, you discovered a lot of great songs. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? yeah. I you would imagine. Yeah. Last week you yeah. mentioned it, too. My spectrum has definitely widened. Nice. OK, so Beyond the Hits is a segment where we get to know one artist a little better. Um, we're going to talk about not the title songs that everyone knows, but like the hidden B-side tracks that you might not be familiar with. So last week, Jay Chang won the TMI quiz. So Jay Chang was in charge of choosing the artist for this week. He chose it as soon as our show ended. I was like, so who are you going to choose? And he was like, oh, this person. Like he just had him in mind right away. Mm -hmm. So Jay Chang, tell us the artist we're going to dive into today. Yes. Uh, today we will be diving into Sam Kim. Sam yes. Kim, Sam the Kim. one and only. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your reason for choosing Sam Kim? Oh, mm. I have been a fan of Sam Kim for probably around six years now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, his vocal style as well as his musical style is just something that I've always um, gotten a lot of influence from. And his B-sides specifically are very much personal and give you mm. a good look mm. into the mind and heart of Sam Kim. So I feel like um, this would be the perfect opportunity to show that off. Yeah, I agree with that. His B-side tracks mm. make me cry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you, you probably know which one I'm talking about. We'll talk about that later. But have you guys met Sam Kim? I have not. Have you? I have. I've <gasps> met Sam Oh, you when? have. Oh, um, I think it was maybe like half a year ago. Uh -huh. um, oh. I was able to visit him in his studio. <gasps> Nice. We were able to talk about music and a lot of stuff like oh that. Oh my god! Oh, in the studio? Mm -hmm. Is there a Jay and Sam collab? Honestly, that'd be pretty that, awesome. Um, maybe in the future. Who knows? Yes. Wow. Hopefully. Have you met Sam Kim? Yes, several okay. times. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> She's like, too many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how would you describe <clears throat> Sam Kim in like one phrase to our listeners? This is hard. Real. Real, okay. Oh, real. I would say. Kyopo essence. Kyopo essence. Kyopo essence. Yeah. Something we can all relate to. Yeah. Uh, Kyopo means Korean American. Mm -hmm. uh, we are Koreans, but we were like 
first generation or second generation mm -hmm. and now we're back in Korea. Okay, so let's find out more about Sam Kim through his profile that's written on Namu Wiki right here. Mm -hmm. If um, you guys can take over this, that would be awesome. You want to okay. take turns? Yes. All right, sure. Um, his real name, Pon Myung, is Samuel Konji Kim, Kim Konji, oh. which I didn't know that. Actually. I didn't know that either. Oops, I didn't know that either. Yeah. <laughs> Konji. <laughs> Konji. Next time you meet him, you should be like, hey, Konji. Oh, Konji. -a. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. Uh, mm. His date of birth is 1998, February 19th. He is 26 mm. years old now. Mm. And yeah, he was born in Washington, Seattle. Mm. Washington, Seattle. Uh, yes. Seattle, Washington. Yes. Um, he is. 177 centimeters tall, <laughs> about 5'9", 5'10", okay. 65 kilograms, and his blood type is A. Oh. Do I know your blood? Do you? Do, we have talked about this about last week, Tavi. Do we really? <laughs> Yeah, Why remember? Did I, we remember? we looked at no, Peggy's profile. We talked about blood types too. Did we really? Yeah. Why why well, did that just Oh no, well Are you sure I mentioned I did tell you my blood type cuz Peggy's blood type was B and I was like the yeah. only thing I have in common with her is that my blood type was also B. Mm -hmm. Oh. You remember that Jay, right? I'm yeah, not tripping because right? we were we were talking about INFP and stuff and we were yeah. like, "Oh, we have that in common." Why did that part just kind of go glaze over my yeah. You need sleep. Maybe I need sleep. Maybe I need more sleep. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next. Okay. Okay. Uh, so for family, he has his mother. His father did recently pass away from a very tragic, tragic accident. Uh, and he has a younger sister and also a younger brother as well. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Oldest, oldest sibling. Oldest, oldest sibling. sibling. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I feel like you can almost hear that in his music, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems like the oldest mm -hmm. when I listen to his lyrics. Right. Are you guys the oldest? Wait, you're the oldest. No, I'm the youngest. No, you're the youngest. Yeah, I'm the oldest and you're the, the youngest. Oldest. Oh, only child. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're all different. Okay, mm -hmm. next. Um, he graduated from yes. Todd Beamer High School. He's currently not in a label. He right? left oh. his label recently, yes. right? Antenna? He's a freelancer now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, when was his debut? 2016. 2016 uh -huh. on April 10th, which April recently oh. just yes, passed. that was very recent. Mm -hmm. uh, and his nicknames are Gonji Gonji, Kim Gonji, Jae Sam Kim, Kim Sun Seng, Gon oh. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> those are very cute. I like those. I very like those. very cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. So what are your blood types? I'm O. Oh. I am also O. Oh. I oh, this is insane. Oh. What is going on? Oh my what gosh. You guys have the same MBTI, same, same blood, blood type. type. We got to get to know you guys better and see what else you guys have in common. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's going to be a lot more. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to, before we dive more into Sam Kim, we're going to listen to the most representative song by Sam Kim. Mm. This is very, very famous. So, so we'll start with that. It's from his first mini album that was released in 2016 called I Am Sam. Sam Kim's No Dunchi, No Sense featuring Crush. Oh, you women, I can't understand. I told you once, I told you twice, I told you everything. Will you stay with me? Oh, you women, I can't understand. 
너 때문에 지쳐가는 나왜 짜증내 뻥치지 마 I'm tired 적당히 해 I told you once I told you twice I told you every day 무슨 생각하고 있는 거야 너 You stay with me. 이래저래 생각만 하지 끝나. 지치지도 않냐? 너는 씨, 너는 씨. 내가 어이없는 건지. 너는 씨, 너는 씨. 좋아하는 내가 바보 알고 있는. 다 똑같아 네 말이 맞지 때론 밤새 통화해도 답이 없지 어쩌면 당연해지는 순간에 몸에 네 탐하는 안에 Oh no But it doesn't really matter 반드시 내가 더 잘할게 girl Would you stay up with me 널 두고 어디 갈 생각 전혀 없지 Don't worry about us Don't worry about nothing 솔직히 말하면 얼마나 좋을까 원한 티들 다 해냈지 말던 You guys are listening to and watching Radio Clock. This is Beyond the Hits with Tabit and Jay Cheng, and today. Artist is Sam Kim. All right, so you guys chose your favorite B-side tracks by Sam Kim. But before we get into that, I prepared another TMI quiz for Sam Kim. Mm-hmm. Last week, out of five questions, Jay Chen got three. Um, Tabi. Oh, was it really? Did I get none? No, you, you got, got two. I got two. Oh, got... it was five questions. Okay, yeah. three. Okay, two. I got mm-hmm. two. Yeah, but Tabi. Uh... Pretty close. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I, Tabi, you did your studying on Sam Kim a little bit? Uh, I, I breezed over some info. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Um, as the same as last week, whoever wins gets to choose the artist we talk about next week. Okay. okay. All right. If you know the answer, yell out your name and raise your hand. Okay. Number one, many musicians claim to be fans of Sam Kim, mentioning him on various broadcasts. Among them, this person who is a member of a girl group often expressed her desire to collaborate with Sam Kim during radio programs and various interviews. After releasing a duet song with Sam Kim, she became a successful fan or Song Duk. Who is this person? person are there a uh, lot of girl group members who collaborated with sam kim i don't uh, know there must Tabi. Be Tabi? oh i feel like i've seen this name so is it china no china who's which china is that correct no you just heard the ding Oh, that wasn't a correct. <laughs> that correct. <laughs> correct is ding dong ding. Oh, okay. ah. Wrong means ding. Tabi. Okay, let me give you choices, okay? okay Listen okay, carefully. Okay. okay. One, Taeyeon. Two, Jenny. Three, Yeti. Four, Mimi. <laughs> J. J. Mimi. Mimi of Oh My Girl? Nope. Oh, uh, Tabi. Yes. Taeyeon. Oh my god, no. There's only two choices, guys. Which is more likely, Jay. Jenny from Blackpink or Yeti of Red Velvet? Jay? Yeti? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I knew it. Oh, you guys did not do your study. It's Yeti of Red Velvet. She released a duet song called That Jam Nat Fairy with Sam Kim in 2022. Oh. And became a successful song oh. by finally collaborating with Sam Kim. Oh, look uh-huh. how cute they look. Okay, one for Jay, zero for <clears throat> Tabi. Okay, <clears throat> number two. <clears throat> when Sam Kim released No Nunchi, No Sense in 2016, he wanted to show his fans a more attractive appearance, so he went on a diet while eating chicken breast. He successfully lost weight and showed the ideal handsome man. 
How many kilograms did Sam Kim lose on his diet? The closest one to the number will get it right. I mean, Tabi. Uh, Tabi. Twenty kilograms. Okay, Jay. What is your answer? Uh, Jay. Huh? Ten kilograms. Ten kilograms. Okay, is that your final answer, guys? Twenty and ten. Yes. It's not like tens. It's like in the middle. Tabi. So, yeah. Fifteen kilograms. Oh gosh. Okay, you. Um, <laughs> fourteen <laughs> kilograms. Nope. Both are very far. Really? It's in the twenties. Oh, oh, it's in the twenties. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so I was closer, anyways. Yeah. So go again. <sighs> <laughs> okay, okay, we have to get it right. Okay, Tabi. Twenty-two kilograms. Okay, Jay. Twenty-four kilograms. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Was it 24? Like, <laughs> it was 24. <laughs> I Tom feel like so <clears throat> frustrated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, say, uh, your, say your piece. No. Say, you can say it. Please go. What I were mean, you going to say? I feel like I was a lot closer to it. To be but fair. you changed your mind huh? in the beginning. You said 20 and then you oh, went to 15. Oh. I said it's in the middle. So... It's okay, Tabi. Don't okay. don't okay. cry. You no, still no. have three more opportunities. Okay, yeah, yeah. We still have. We have to, I still have hope. Okay. Wait, last okay. time you were here for the Lunar New Year episode, you were not competitive at all. What is going on? What made you? What got you this competitive? Because I have to say. <laughs> ah, okay. All oh, right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Okay. Three. Sam Kim, famous for his guitar skills, started playing the guitar on his own. Although he didn't know theories and couldn't read sheet music, he had absolute pitch, producing sounds on the guitar just by listening. So here's the question. What was the reason Sam Kim started learning the guitar on his own? This is so easy. When you're a dude and, like, you know, you want to... Oh, Tabi. Uh, Tabi? To impress a girl. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so the exact correct answer was a girl, a girl that he uh, out on his son. Like it was an unrequited love. Uh -huh. It was a one-sided love, mm -hmm. and the girls came to school with a guitar and said, "Oh, I wish you could play me a song." So he was like, "Okay," wow. and he started learning the guitar. <laughs> Demanding much? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he, she was like, "Oh, I, I wish you could play a song that I like," and then he was like, "Okay," and he just started. Well, thank God for that woman. Yes, thank I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> thank God for that woman. <laughs> All right, one for Tavi, two for Jay. Okay, number four. Sam Kim has gone on a harsh diet before, but he loves eating as much as music, and he chose this food as his favorite. What is Sam Kim's favorite food? This I do not like. No offense. Uh, Tavi. Tavi. This is a random guest. Takbar, uh, chicken feet. No, oh. I love chicken feet. This is also a random guess. Okay. Sundubu <gasps> Who could not like sundubu Okay, uh, a hint. Mm -hmm. Do you know Chombak, John Park? Yeah. He's also known to be a fanatic of this food. He's obsessed with this menu. He's like a hongbo desa. He's always promoting this, saying uh. it's the best food. <sighs> it's is a type of food with the region name in the front. Uh, um, uh, Tabi? Tabi? Maratang? No. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, it's something we eat when it's hot in the summer. Mani mogo. Oh. 여름에 많이 먹는. We eat it a lot in the summer. <laughs> summer, summer food, summer food, summer food. I think we food. need Jay. more hints. Jay? Shigor oksusu. What? <laughs> 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 he just said countryside corns. Um, hello. There's two kinds of this. There's bur <laughs> and pibim. Ah. Um, naengmyeon. Uh, more specific. Uh, I told you the region name goes on in front of it. Chungcheon. Chungcheon. Wait. Okay. Dang. Sorry. J. Gwangju naengmyeon. Mashkecho. Wait, what? What region is famous for naengmyeon? This. Um, uh, it's not a region in South Korea. Oh, oh, Tabi. Tabi. Um, uh, the 
Uh, no, it's um, uh, uh, no, wait, it's on the tip of my tongue. I swear it's on the tip of my tongue. We'll give you five Pyeong seconds. No, it's, it's, it's in five, um, four, Pyeong Pyeongyang three. No, it, yeah, yes. Pyeongyang naengmyeon. Oh, yes. Pyeongyang naengmyeon. Finally, <sighs> Pyeongyang naengmyeon. Oh my gosh. Oh, that took I'm tired. So long. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired too. Oh my goodness, that took forever. Um, so I'm guessing you guys never had Pyongyang naengmyeon. No, I have. I, I have. Oh. I definitely have. I just it didn't cross my mind. I've <sighs> never had Pyongyang naengmyeon. You've never before. had it. No. I yeah. wonder if Jay will like it. Please I'm try interested. it one day and let okay. us know. I will. All right, last question. It's a tie right now, two to two. This is this will be a tiebreaker. Sam Kim's song, your song, is said to be a song made for this person who was not only a fellow contestant in the same competition, but also a colleague at the same agency at the time of the song's release. Who is this person? <laughs> what? You guys are supposed to go against each other. Oh, Tabi. Tabi. Konchina. <laughs> Oh, Jay told him the answer. Oh, what do you that mean? What do you so mean? <laughs> no, I just whispered fighting in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll never oh know. You'll gosh. never know. <laughs> oh, wow. How did you know, Tabi? Uh, it was just a hunch. Oh mm. yeah. Yeah, I almost said Ihai because <laughs> that was the only K-pop mm -hmm. star contestant yes. I was thinking of. Wow, you said Chuncheon Ningmyeon before, and mm. you just got a hunch about this. Yeah, wow. yeah. It's just you know sometimes it comes to you. Okay, yeah. so Kwon Jina, who is you know usually very high spirited, was not feeling well and sick for a while, and Sam Kim wanted to comfort her, so mm. he wrote this song oh, for her. Very yes. sweet. Yes. All right. Well, congratulations, Tabi. You you are the winner of this week's Thank Beyond you. the Hits TMI quiz. So um, you'll have some time to think about which artist you want to talk about next week. Oh, I know. And sing about. And sing about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys chose three B-side tracks mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. Sam Kim this week. And two of the, you guys chose the same two songs oh. out of three songs. Honestly, I'm, I'm surprised because... A lot of his songs are good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of it beside tracks are all picking. solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the song that you guys brought in separately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Jay's pick and Habit's pick. Can you guys tell us what songs you brought? Um, the song that I picked is called Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. Which okay. Which is also the name of the album it came on. Uh huh. Mm. And it is a very sentimental track mm. about i th i believe being two sides of the same two sides universe. of the same Coin. universe Coin, yes oh. sun and moon we are one oh, oh is this a song okay yeah okay let's hear it for a little bit So is it a love song? I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, how did you discover this song, first of all? Um, I remember when this album first came out, mm -hmm. I front to backed it. So this was definitely one of my favorite ones on the album. Mm -hmm. It's the first song. So it was a really strong introduction to the album for me. All right. What would you say is your favorite point of the song point to part uh, at the end there's a dechang bubun where oh. like there's a like a chorus mm -hmm. like um a, and it was it's very like soulful mm. and i love that kind of feel so mm. oh okay so our listeners will have to listen to the very end to check out the chorus part mm -hmm. now tabi let's listen to the b-side track you brought mm -hmm. Which one did yeah, you bring? Yes, so I brought Makeup uh, featuring Crush. Mm. Yeah, this is a very, very popular song. <laughs> if you listen to it, you'll know. It's, it's on right now, right? No, Makeup. Is that one, right? Mm. Oh, wait, no, no, that was... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Different artist. <laughs> that's Primary and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And that's no Makeup. This is Makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is no, I swear you know this song. 
This part. Can we make up in the morning? Take a yanky head right now. Don't worry, I'm so dumb to go on it. Nigga, no time, I don't know. Can we make up? Okay, so. I know the song. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I almost want to say that this song was more popular than the title track. It's from mm-hmm. the same album, yeah. Sun and Moon, from 2018. Oh. But I almost feel like this. I heard this song a lot more going around. Yeah, in, in, I think so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Than the title track, which is oh. with Diko. But yeah, it's just a banger of a song. And you know, I feel like one of the biggest compliments you can kind of give an artist. This is just my opinion. Is the face crunch? Do you know what I'm talking about? The oh, like, face, mm, 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 mm. like kind of that face of disgust, but it's because it's, it's so good, so good <laughs> yeah. and it makes all of your hair stick up, and you just got get the chills from listening to it. Yeah, and that's the only way to express it. Yeah, mm. and yeah. that's what I get when I listen to it. during that break breakdown part, like da na na da da na na na. Oh man, yeah. I just make I, I can't help but make that face. Mm. I agree. Yeah. Can't help it. Well, um, we played the song because Tabi brought it in as his B-side choice, but it's such a coincidence that Jay Chang actually chose this song to sing for us. Oh, mm. good choice. Good choice. Good choice indeed. I wonder what Jay Chang's version of makeup sounds like. Mm. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited as well. Well, Jay, are you ready? Oh, now. Yeah, now. Okay. <laughs> now, now. Wait, I, I was surprised too. <laughs> Okay. You're going to stand up and sing, right? Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Woohoo. And we also have in ears so we could listen to his voice a little more closely Ooh. and in a little more detailed. No pressure, you know? No. But pressure. we're just going to be hearing every breath that you make. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're, let's go hear uh, Jay Chang's version of Makeup by Sam Kim. Ooh. I'm all on in me, I'm in the tongue. Check
of control it took for me to not scream in the middle of his singing. <laughs> yes, but you guys didn't see it, but Tabi and I were literally looking at each other like, <gasps> the whole well, time. The stink face. Yes, the stink, oh. the stink face. face came out. But like a, a beyond the stink face, you know, just sometimes you want to scream. Yeah. I almost <laughs> threw my shoe at you. You, you know, you know that's. A, <laughs> you should have done that. That would have been a good. You know, moment. you know that's the other other big compliment that you can do uh-huh. when, uh, when someone does really well. They take off their shoe and throw it. I onto thought that the was stage. only for dancers. Oh no, not just for dancers. Oh, wow. It's for performers as well. I think it's just for like a bang in performance in general. Oh my gosh! Oh, I yeah, Jay. I almost threw my shoe at you. Uh, you yeah. were born to be in a the performer. Best way yeah. Oh. Your stage manners and presence is just like so good. And you like reminded me of a 2000s boy band like like from the states like backstreet boys and sync sometimes oh. when you sang like when you did like huh? like when i was like oh my god like bringing me back to my junior high school days I know exactly for some we're reason about. Yeah. 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 dang that's a huge compliment that Woo! was awesome oh, thank, thank you very much i i mm. forgot one of the lines at the end there, but you did that to prove you were singing live. Oh like, yeah, you know, right. that was all on purpose. Because <laughs> yeah. 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 everyone yeah. was probably thinking like, "This is not live," and uh-huh. you just had to do a little thing to be like, "This is live." Mm-hmm. Right. All right. So that was awesome. Thank you. Uh, we are running out of time, so let's go into the B side tracks that you guys chose together. Yes. You guys chose. You guys both chose if. If. Sam Kim's if. Mm-hmm. Let's listen to it. So please tell us a little about this track. Uh, well, I mean, I picked. I actually came upon this track when I listened to his whole discography recently, mm-hmm. while you know, just kind of diving in, refreshing my memories because some of the albums are a lot older. But I remember when I listened to this, like, I I don't remember this track before, but it just hit so deep, mm-hmm. and I think that's the best thing about like listening to beat tracks sometimes you just might glaze over it sometimes but when you listen to it later it might hit differently for a different reason because Mm -hmm. you know and for me it was not just about the melody but it was also about uh the lyrics Mm -hmm. and i feel you know we talked about kyopo essence that's one of the things i said and i feel like a lot of the struggles that he writes about does encompass the kyopo kind of essence Mm -hmm. uh and i don't know i just kind of related a lot to this song mm-hmm. lyrically and melodically yeah. as well <laughs> Jay Chang you chose this song as well what was yeah. your reason behind that for the exact same reason actually the message behind the song is such a very powerful one and the um, point of the song which is playing right now is if I were gone tomorrow would they wonder how I am that kind of um, message yeah it's very, very yeah mm. very somber I feel like it's something that everybody can at one point of their life can relate to and I think that the way he was able to kind of express that through this song is very magical mm. Aww. and the other song you guys brought in together was a song that's about family it's called Mama Don't Worry oh my gosh and I feel like we can all relate to this song because our moms are in the states mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. like our yeah. family were uh, not together with our family and yeah this song made me cry when I heard it and we're actually gonna play this song as our last track today so our listeners can enjoy it from beginning to end hoping you guys don't cry when you listen to it but um yeah thanks for joining us today guys thank you jay for the awesome live performance yeah. uh. <coughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i had fun yes <laughs> and Tavid, it's your turn next week so we'll look forward to that oh yeah yeah all right all right this is sam kim's mama don't worry and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs> Oh, 
엄마 나 사랑해 엄마의 마음 아빠의 마음 멀리 있어도 다 똑같아 할머니의 마음 할아버지의 마음 어디 있어도 다 똑같아 So mama don't worry So mama don't worry